Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we'd talk a little bit about how guitar pickups work. And uh, take one apart and have a look, show you an entire uh, setup with three pickups, uh, five-way selector switch, tone and volume knobs. You know, just a little bit about the electronics of guitar. And I thought we'd play around a little bit more with the uh, Blues Crusher as well. And for our playing pleasure today, we will be playing on my Chapman Monkey Lord 2 guitar. So first of all, here is the clean setting without the Monkey Lord engaged. You can play something familiar you might all know. Whoopsies! So I'm sure you all know that song, right? Stairway to Heaven. And then, if we engage the Monkey Lord, I'm sorry, the uh, Blues Crusher, you can see the LED on there. Now we have a dirty sound. And you can hear that little bit of squeal in the background. That is uh, just a little bit of overdrive. And this gives us a little something more like a... Let's start off by talking about there are two basic types of pickups. These are what are known as single coil pickups. So underneath this, which you know we're going to see here in a few minutes, it's just a bunch of wire wrapped around these pole pieces. Those are single coils. What we're going to talk about mainly today are the single coil pickups and your basic Stratocaster setup. So we're going to take a look at all this. Your Stratocaster has three pickups. The neck pickup, the middle pickup, and the bridge pickup. You have a volume, you have two tone controls, and you have this selector switch, which is a five-way selector switch. Originally, they were only three-way selector switches. And back in the 60s, folks like Jimi Hendrix found out you could kind of stick it in between positions and get two pickups to come on at the same time. So now these are five-way selector switches. This is position one, neck only. Position two, neck and middle, acting as a humbucker. Position three, middle only. Position four, middle and bridge again, acting as a humbucker. And position five, bridge only. Now, Let's turn it over and have a look at the back. So here is the business end of our guitar pickups. We have our three pickups, and you'll notice each pickup sports a different color hot wire or positive wire, and they all have a black ground wire. So each of the hot wires from the pickups go to the five-way selector switch. And the output from the five-way selector switch goes to the volume control and to one of the tone controls. The other tone control feeds off of this tone control. And you'll notice we also have a ground here, a ground here, and for some odd reason this white wire is also a ground. This white and this red, this ground and this hot, go to the output jack of the guitar. This ground wire here goes to the spring claw in the tremolo for the Stratocast. It doesn't matter. Basically, it's, you're just grounding out all the metal parts of the guitar. And you can see they are all soldered to these potentiometers, which I'm not sure what these ones are because this is like a knockoff Chinese Strat. They are generally 500k pots. 
And if you look at the switch here, it is just a cheapo PC board five-way selector switch. A real strat uses a uh, wafer switch. But what we're here to talk about is the pickups and how they work. So if we take a look at the front, these are called the pole pieces. And if you look at them edge on, you can see they are actually wired in the, or set up in a slight arc. And that is to match the curve of the fretboard. And you'll see there are six pole pieces which correspond to the six strings of an electric guitar. I apologize for subjecting you to my absolutely crappy artwork, let alone my absolutely crappy guitar playing. Anyway, this is a horrible drawing of the parts of a pickup. This piece here is called the top flat work. This is called the bottom flat work. These are the pole pieces, and this is the coil. So the flat work simply exists to hold the pole pieces in place while the coil wire is wrapped around them. So what we have here is basically an induction sensor. So here's our pickup here. And as the electric guitar string, which is metal, passes over it and vibrates, it creates a flux in this coil, which are picked up by these pole pieces, which are in good pickups, permanently magnetized. Usually Alnico, which is aluminum, nickel, cobalt magnets. But in cheap pickups, as you'll see here, they're generally slugs of steel that have a ceramic magnet stuck to the bottom of them. Yes, that is actually how they work. And that is really all there is to it. I mean, they're incredibly simple devices. So let's take one out of here. And we'll have a look at it. Cut the wires off. And we will remove it from the pick guard. That's the nice thing about Stratocasters. When you take off the pick guard, you have access to all the electronics except the output jack, all in one piece. So here's our pickup. And then these pieces, it's just a cosmetic cover. It comes off like that. Now you can see our magnet here attached to the bottom. And you can see This tape, which I'm hoping that I can get off here. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. And what you can see there is the coil itself. They generally use 42 gauge wire for pickups, and I'm not sure how many turns. But if you look really closely here, you can see, well, let me put the light on it. There we go. You can see the wires coming off the coil. And I'm pointing to the wires right here. I know they're really hard to see here. I'll turn it this way, do we get any better? Nah, it's hard to see. But anyway, the wires just come off the coil and they go to these output wires. Pretty simple, right? Not much to it. Put your little cosmetic covers on and boom, pickups. So a lot of guys wind their own pickups. There's really nothing much to it. Choose how many winds you want. Uh, some folks use a rig that's a hand wound. Some people attach it to a drill. But these are, uh, these are magnetic, as you can plainly see. I mean, they're not strong enough to hold that, but they'll hold that, no problem. But the only reason they're magnetic, in this case, is because they have a permanent ceramic magnet 
stuck to the bottom. Like I said, again, good pickups. We'll have Alnico or individual ceramic magnets in here. They have a different sound. And that's how that works. So, just thought I'd share it with you guys. How the electronics and the internals of an electric guitar work. If you enjoyed this little video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Again, big thanks to Eric Vincent for sending that super cool pedal in. That was a nice, uh, that was a nice project to make, Eric. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys and all your comments. So, all right, that's it. Don't forget to just, uh, like, comment, just share, and subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you for all your support, everyone. 2020, I'm hoping, is going to be a great year for us. Everyone who's supported through Patreon and through PayPal donations is fantastic. Um, everybody who's bought something from the Amazon store, that's what keeps this channel going. I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, you are a part of the team. Hey, feel free to email me, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I try and get back to just about everybody.